<clears throat> Hi, my name is Marco Rodriguez. Not born, but raised in the small town of Delano, California. Born in an even smaller town, La Cruz, Mexico, which stands for the cross. Excuse me. I'm here to fight for DACA and many undocumented students, dreamers, and parents out there. There's approximately 12.5 million undocumented immigrants in the U.S. that not only want, but need the same equalities and the same opportunities to chase the what's so-called American dream. Excuse me. For the students to be scholars and to take their education into a higher learning, they always say today's youth is our future. I want the same opportunity and the same window. No, you know what? Scratch that. I want the same door to open up when applying to Ivy League schools, just like my cousin did, Ernesto Samano, Yao University graduate. My dad to this day tells me, a man without education is like a blind man. And in addition to that, Cesar Chavez said, a man can be ed educated, but they also got to be educated in the heart. Y si se puede, si le cha si se puede, le echamos ganas. Muchos inmigrantes que vienen a la tierra de los libres, vienen a trabajar, a estudiar y a encontrar una vida más mejor para sus mismos o para sus familias. Y para los papás, for the parents to have a steady income and not worry about the big what if I get deported. Isn't it supposed to be the home of the brave? Then why are people still living afraid? The struggles are real, for some the worst of cases, for others just the thought of the back of their heads. I'm going to share some of mine. At the age of seven, I came to the U.S. My family was torn apart by uh, immigration. In the early stages of moving to the U.S., I didn't think much of it. Once I started school, I realized something. I didn't fit in. No one understood me. No one knew my situation. I would tell my mom, I don't want to go to school anymore. I didn't understand this foreign, foreign language. I was in a foreign country by myself. Maybe because my mom was afraid to share our conditions. She was afraid of, of uh, me getting sent back, maybe just like my dad. And taking it back to support, that's all I needed at this point. Because I didn't understand anything. I was, I was in the classroom hearing gibberish, just going one in and out through the other. Some time passed by, and uh, the more my eyes opened, and I realized my diff the different problems and perspectives of my life. Like somewhere, I wanted to work, I couldn't. I wanted to plan for my future, not worry about it. Excuse me. I want to travel the world, I still can't. In and out of Mexico, to see my family and my dad that I haven't seen in 10 years, still not possible. Which I don't understand, because we're all immigrants. And if not that, then immigrants the sense. I have a short poem, um, and it goes like this. Um, why kick out the natives out of the place they called home? The ironic thing is, they knew their wrongs. Why can't everybody be humane starting the day? See the bigger picture, change, progress, no more blame. Why is this driving me insane? Just, I just want equality for all. I don't want to see any of my humans fall. Why are we killing each other, literally and figure of speech? I just want peace to travel around the world like a bad disease. I could push any poem or any puzzle, but nothing will be solved being unsubtle. We all know, we have to know the destination, know the goal, take initiative and never fold. Be bold, loud and proud. If you stand for something, then actually stand. Never let an angry, an angry man's power shut you up. Above and beyond, I want you to feel where I'm coming from. Thank you.